very old terrorist attack and now they say that there was no harm with the MPs, honorable MPs. How do you see this compared? By the no, the, the question is not that. If you can smuggle in smoke canisters, you can easily smuggle in something far more serious, a bomb, a grenade, a pistol, whatever. Uh, the problem is that the security lapses are the issue. It is not so much a question of what exactly happened yesterday. That was bad enough. Uh, there were obviously lessons to be learned. If it's easy for people to get in this way, easy for them to jump into the main uh, parliament chamber itself, easy for them to smuggle in these uh, smoke uh, canisters and set them off. All of these were very, very serious concerns. And the problem the MPs have is the feeling that the government is not taking this seriously enough. Why wasn't the Home Minister in the House? Why was he not accountable? Why is the government not feeling it is accountable to the people? These are the questions that were in the minds of the MP. A shaft of seven almost has been suspended on yesterday's incident. Do you think there is enough action? Has taken? I, I look, I don't want to get into disciplinary matters because only they know who was supposed to be where and what they did or didn't do. But I will say that it goes well beyond the security officer there. It goes to the concept of security in the parliament. It goes to the arrangements for access. It goes to the way in which the building was conceived, designed and built. So the government is accountable because they're the ones behind this entire change. And we must therefore hear from the government at the highest responsible level. What we are making internationally, the way we, had, uh, we, we have seen inside the parliament, do you believe that we need to tighten security like an airport or somewhere else? No, <laughs> we are talking about tightening security like the old parliament. The new parliament had very major deficiencies as became apparent yesterday. But we also want accountability. We want the Home Minister to come and speak to Parliament. The fact that he was not there, Prime Minister was not there, no one was there, uh, that was that did not reflect well. And the Defence Minister stood up and said, you know, uh, 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 conducting inquiry, it will take some time, be understanding, etc. That is not good enough in the eyes of most of the MPs who are feeling very intense and very vulnerable. That's